Chico resident Gloria Ames was arrested Friday after trying to hire an undercover officer to kill two people. Wise County Sheriff David Walker was part of the investigation. Ms. Ames was wanting two people killed so she could gain uh, monetarily after they were killed, uh, whether it be an insurance policy or what have you. Faced with losing her home and falling behind on her bills, Ames needed her husband and his income to make ends meet. In order to make that happen, she saw only one option. Yes, I did attempt to hire a hit on these two people, and I'm very sorry I did it. I wish I hadn't. But, I mean, it's just all the circumstances that led up to it. You know, everybody pretty much walked out on me and told me to figure it out for myself. Ames said a friend set up the meeting with the potential hitman. She claimed the friend even gave her the money to set the plan in motion. I think I was set up definitely. I mean, yes, I <coughs> did, you know, want this done, but then the more I thought about it, the more I didn't want it done. Ames said she and her husband started living apart last September. Her husband moved in with his best friend and his wife, the two intended targets of the murder hit. We have tried working things out twice. They tell him no. He's not coming back, that if he does, then they won't ever be friends with him anymore. So therefore, he just stays away. Ames hoped that by killing his best friend and his wife, her husband would be forced to come home. So I figured, okay, well, if he don't have as many options, then he'll come home. Now, like I said, if I could do it all over again, I'd take it all back. Investigators moved quickly once they learned of Ames's intention to have two people killed, receiving the tip late Thursday and making the arrest Friday morning. The goal on any of those cases, specifically like a murder for hire or anything like that, was to work fast and uh, because <clears throat> you want you want to try to to uh, you know stop it if you can, and then you know obviously make sure that you you get it stopped before she finds somebody that that uh, will actually carry it out. Sitting in the Wise County Jail with bail set at $1 million, Ames is ready to face her punishment. I wish I could take it back, but I can't. It's done. I just want to go ahead and get this behind me and get it over with.